Mungu anapotaka kuleta uamsho kwenye taifa kuna makundi matano atahusika nayo. Kundi la kwanza ambalo Mungu atahusika nalo ni watu ambao wamechoka. Tired people. Kuna watu ambao wanamtumikia Mungu. There are people who serve God. Lakini wamechoka. But they are tired. Kwa hiyo uamsho wa Mungu unapotaka kuja so they... anawaamsha hao watu kutoa hata kuchoka kwao. So they... Anawarudisha kwa njia sahihi. So when the revival comes, he awakens these people to in the line of revival. Kundi la pili. The second group of people. Ni kundi la watu ambao ni vugu These are people who are looking warm. Unanisikia kitu unasema? Vugu vugu kabisa yani. This are looking warm. Maybe hawajui ama wanajua lakini wako vugu vugu. What they know or they don't know but they are just warm. Uamsho wa Mungu unapokuja. When the revival comes, unawainua na hao watu wanaingia kwenye moto wa Mungu ndani yao. It lifts them the gate in the fire of God. Wanaenda kupeleka injili ya Kristo inapotakiwa kwenda. So they say they the gospel Christ was supposed to Kundi la tatu. The third group. Ni kundi la watu ambao wana kiu na wana njana wana shauku ya kweli. In the group of people who have the true desire for the world. Na wa kweli kuleta uamsho kwenye taifa. The inner drive to bring the revival in the church. Lakini kundi la nne ni kundi la backsliders, watu ambao walianguka ama. But the fourth group is the group of those who backslide. Kuna tatizo kwenye nchi. There's a problem in this country. Kuna makundi mawili. There are two groups. Kwa wachungaji of the pastors. Kuna makundi mawili. There are two groups. Kwa waimbaji of singers. Wako waimbaji ambao wanasema wao ni watakatifu sana. They are singers who say they are holy. Na wala hawawezi kushirikiana na waimbaji wengine ambao yamkini wametokea kwenye historia za kidunia ama wametokea mahali fulani wakiwatazama namna hii wana picha mbaya juu yao wanasema hawa watu hawajaokoka Mungu hawezi kushuka mahali kwenye makundi God cannot come to a place where people are factions Uamsho wa kweli wa Mungu kija kwa waimbaji When the true revival comes to among the singers Hata wale ambao wameanguka even those mnawaona wasiofaa mnawaamshwa na Mungu wanainuka wanaanza kutembea sawa sawa na Mungu wanavyotaka Even those who consider the entities they begin to raise up and work Taifa hili litazidi kuchelewa sana But this year, This kiwamsho we are getting late in right because of the pastors kanisa ilitazidi taifa hili litazidi kuchelewa sana the nation continue to keep late kwa sababu ya mazingira tunayoyaona because of the circumstances that we are seeing bintu huyu Mungu amemleta hapa afi nyangu ya tengenezwa fire this lady god brought her here to be molded na mimi nataka tumuombe and i want us to pray for her kama ambavyo amesema nitamuombe she said i will pray for her lakini god Ujumbe ufikie waimbaji wa Tanzania. This message should go to all singers in Tanzania. Nikiwa Jerusalem pia Mungu alisema niombe, nitakuombea wewe nitamwombea na Beatrice. When I was in Jerusalem God said I should na, pray. I pray for na you for Beatrice. Come here. And also for Angel. Alafu panda pale ofisini kwangu nimeleta scarf kwa ajili yao nitawavalisha tena kama alama ya utume na nafasi ya Mungu kwenye taifa la Tanzania. And bring the, car, the scarf I'll make them put on as a mark of revival of the work of God in the Tanzania. Natamani I desire waimbaji wa injili Tanzania na tuna tunakongamano nao sisi tarehe 20 na ngapi I desire the gospel singers of this country we have a, na saba, I don't we have a conference with them I think on to tutakutana na waimbaji wa Tanzania I'll meet with all the gospel singers Mungu ana neno na mimi ameniambia juu ya waimbaji He has given a word for me for gospel singers Nikiwa kwenye ziwa la Galilaya Mungu akaniambia hivi When I was in the sea of Galilee God said like this Utambi utoao moshi the, the smoking flax sita uzima will not uh, will not be quenched utambi utoao moshi smoking flax sita uzima will never quench nikamuuliza mungu nini i ask god why akanambia wako watumishi wangu wengi waimbaji he said there are many sisters who are going to sing amoni kama moto wao na neema yao adui ameshaichukua na ameiba wengine imebidi wabaki tu na vipawa na karama lakini ule utukufu wa mungu umeshaondoka their fire has been taken that glory of god is not again with them matayo sura ya 12 mstari wa 20 anasema mwanzi Mwanzi uliopondeka hautavunjwa. Mwanzi uliopondeka the broken reed hautavunjwa. The broken reed will not break. Tambi utoao moshi hautazimika. The smoking flax will not quench. Huu ni upendo Mungu alionao juu ya watumishi wake. This is the love of God to his ministers. Wakati unaona kana kwamba ndio anakaribia kufa watapotea. You see they are almost dying. Anasema hujajua huo ni utambi utoao moshi. You don't know that is. Na sitaruhusu uzimike. That is a smoking flax. Wakati unaangalia unasema sijui anaweza hujajua. When you see like they are going to. Huo ni mwanzi ambao umepo ndeka kidogo tu that's the broken reed wamejeruhika kidogo tu adui amewapata ama amewaonea ama amewaharibu ama amefanyaje lakini kupondeka kwao hakunifanyi ni utupe mwanzi wangu 
Mungu atawatengeneza na atawafanya watu wao kuwa watu wakubwa. You and create you. Nasikia roho mwenyewe ananiambia nisisitize. Oh spirit said I should emphasize. Wa mwisho ukija. When the revival comes. Utakuja kwa watu walio poa. You come the people who are warm. Wataamshwa. They will be revived. Utakuja kwa watu ambao wamebakslide, wameanguka kabisa. Who has been and who has fallen. Asawe kama uko kwenye moto una wadharau ambao wameanguka, una hatari. If we are in the fire despite those who have fallen. Kwa Mungu atakapopita atawa atawatumia wao na wao tabaki unashangaa. When, when God comes he'll use them and you'll be surprised. Wa mwisho utakapokuja. When the revival comes. Hausimami na wenye haki peke yao. Don't stand only with the righteous people. Wachungaji wa uwe makundi. A pastors with the group they should kill the Na waimbaji wa injili wa uwe makundi. And the gospel singers should kill groups. Na upendo wa Mungu utawale katikati ya kanisa. And let the love of God reign in the nation. Utawale katikati ya waimbaji. Let it reign among the gospel singers. Yes, akawa kuna vitu amkubaliani. There might be you. Lakini lazima mkumbuke mnakubaliana kwenye upendo wa Mungu. Uliowaunganisha ukawaokoa wote. But you must agree you are united by the love of God. Sikila mtu ataniunga mkono Daniel. Not everyone change. Taifa la Tanzania tumesha We are late in Tanzania. Tumeshachelewa. We are late. Tuondoke kwenye dini. Let's move from religion. Tuondoke kwenye kujihesabia haki. Move from counting ourselves precious. Na Mungu alikusanye kanisa lake mahali. And let God and Father the church together. Simama nyosha mikono hapa. So stand and raise your hands. Mungu lia hai asante kwa ajili ya Bella. God thank you for Bella. Asante kwa ajili ya maisha yake ya kiroho. Thank you for her life. Asante kwa kumuokoa. Thank you for saving her. Asante kwa kumtakasa. Thank you for sanctifying Sante her. Asante kwa kumfanya mtumishi wake. Thank you for make her na mwimbaji katika nchi. And make me gospel singer this country. Asante pia kwa neema hiyo hiyo. Thank you the same grace. Kwa ajili ya Beatrice. For Beatrice. Na kwa ajili ya Recho. And for Angel. Mungu lia hai. Living God. Siku ya leo. Today. Ninaomba niwaombe watu hawa kwako. This people to you. Na nitangaze mbele ya watu hawa na Tanzania. For these people in this Tanzania. Wewe unao watumia watu wote. We ambaye unafanya mambo ya ajabu. Ninaomba. I pray. Uguse maisha yao. Touch their lives. Ninaomba uwatakase. Ninaomba uwaoshe. I pray please. Ninaomba uwatumie. Use them. Ile neema iliyokuwa juu ya wana wa Asaf. The grace upon the children of Asaf. Katika zile za kina Daudi. In that time of Saul. Katika nyakati zile za kina Musa. In the times of Moses. Hiyo neema ikawe juu yao watu. Grace be upon them. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name zile historia mbaya watu walizonazo kwenye fahamu zao kwenye mioyo yao juu yao Mungu zifute kabisa na wape mioyo ya kutengenezeka wape roya uti wape roya unyenyeke waepushe na majivuno katika jina la Yesu natangaza baraka juu yao bingu ziwatambue let heaven tangu siku ya leo na wanadamu watambue tangu siku ya leo endelea kuwafundisha shule yako ya kiroho watenge kabisa na kila aina ya dunia hii na yale yaliyo madhaifu yao wafunulie kwenye mioyo yao wageuke reveal their weaknesses in their hearts for them to turn na yale utakayotupa juu yao wayapokee kwa mioyo yao yote ili wakalifae kanisa la Tanzania katika jina la Yesu aliye Jesus. Inua mikono yako. Lift your hands. Jo Bella. Kambela. Nipe moja hii. Give me one. Hizi nimenunua pale Jerusalem. I bought this from Jerusalem. Na kufuka scarf hii. So I tie to this scarf. Kama alama. Is a sign. Ya Mungu kupokea. That go to accept you. Mungu kuinua zaidi. To take you far. Mungu atakaye kutengeneza atakaye kufinyanga zaidi. God mold you more. Kama ambavyo ulisema ni finyange unifanye kama nitakutakavyo. Mold me the way you want me to be. Ili watu wakikutazama Tanzania wakamuone Mungu. People should see God. Ili watu wakikutazama Kenya wakamuone Mungu. Ili watu wakikutazama Marekani wakamuone Mungu. Wakamone Mungu katika mwenendo wako. Wakamone Mungu katika kuvaa kwako. Wakamone Mungu katika kusema kwako. Skafu hii ni alama. Amen. Katika ulimwengu wa roho ya kwamba tangu leo Mariamu Ya kwamba utafinyangwa na kuwa sawa sawa na Mungu. Karaba sukura bashata raba kata raba kosu. Reko sanga raba kori ya na Asia na Amerika na 
kupitia zote zikasikia ya kwamba Mungu anakutumia na anafanya kupitia wao waliokuchika moyo wakajengwe kupitia wao waliotoka wakainuke katika jina la Yesu ali hai kumbe wimbo wake aibe unifinyange panda pale wimbo wao wimbo Joe Beatrice karabashanda rabakuri abasa na kufunga skafu hii kama alama wito wako na kipawa chako ambacho Mungu alikiweka ndani yako hakitapingwa na mizimu hakitapingwa na miungu amen na kurudisha kwenye anga amen anga ila Tanzania amen anga la Kenya amen anga la Uganda amen anga la East Africa amen. anga la Afrika amen. anga la dunia nzima America ikasikia dunia ikasikia ya kwamba Mungu anakutumia tena utakatifu kaonekane kwako uchaji ukaonekane kwako Mungu anaidua watu ayakuidue na wewe tena Araba shanda raba kuri ya masaka ya bahai Neno la Mungu linasema Neno la Mungu linasema mwanzi uliopondeka the broken reed will never be broken Na neno la Mungu linasema utambi utoao moshi sitauzima the smoking flax will not quench Recho mwanzi katika jina la Yesu Let the spirit of revival ile roho iliyokuwa juu ya wana wa Asaf unasikia kwenye ulimwengu wa roho Mungu anakuongezea neema juu yako katikati ya ile roho iliyokuwa juu ya wana wa Asaf Mungu anaiachilia juu yako katikati ya watu ambao watasimama na kuimba kama wana wa Asaf hiyo neema iwe juu ya Can you sing Kaya manya na na no sana Stand up and worship the Lord Ya fike kwako Moyo uliyoponeka utadhara Wimbo huo ni halisi kwako mwenyewe Hallelujah. 